Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video is continuation of Java date time API in Java 8. So at this time we are going to explore about local date time class. In previous few video tutorials we have discussed about the local date and local time. Now let's discuss about the local date time. The local date time is used to represent a combination of date and time. This is most commonly used class when we need a combination of date and time. The class offers a variety of APIs and we will look at some of the most commonly used ones. An instance of local date time can be obtained from the system clock similar to local date and local time. So in local date we have a local date and local time we have a factory method is called now. now. In similar fashion we have a now method also we have in local date time. So if you want to retrieve the system local date and time then we can call this method by class name itself because this is a static method. The below code samples explains how to create an instance of using factory of and parse method. So in earlier few video tutorials when we were discussed about uh, local date and local time then local date and local time has also off and parse method similarly we have a off and parse method in local date local date time as well the result would be the local date time instance would be 20 february 2015 and 6 30 so here we can we can make use of off method and here we are passing we can create the instance of local date time by calling our off method so first of all you need to pass the year now you can pass the month to pass month either you can pass i mean uh, ordinal of the month like february that is two but you can make use of uh, enumeration as well month third february and whatever month you want to pass it over here so all months have been declared in the month enumeration and uh, finally we are going to pass day and number of hours and number of minutes See, this way you can create object of local date time Similarly, we can make use of the parse date as well. So initially, we will have to pass date in the form of yyyymn and dd. And you will have to write capital T. And after that, you can specify the time as well. So your date and time is separated with the alphabet T. So this way, you can make use of the parse to create local date time object. Now there are utility APIs to support addition and subtraction of a specific units of time like days, month, year, uh, minutes and decade and all. Uh, the below code samples demonstrates use of the plus and minus methods. These APIs behave exactly like their counterparts in local date and local time. So local date and local time these methods are also available. So here this method will work in similar fashion. So if you have an object of local date time then you can call plus days how many days you want to add in the current time stamp or time stamp and if you have a local date time already then you can subtract number of hours as well so getter methods are available to extract a specific units similar to the date and time classes given the uh, above instances of local date time the below code sample will return the uh, month February so if you have already local date time object then you can call get month or get get month get uh, month get uh, there are a lot of getter method to get a month or days and all or year you can even subtract year from local date time so we have a different getter method as well so this was just a theoretical discussion let's go to the eclipse and try to explore practically so first api i am going to use local date time sorry so you have a local date time that in java dot time package and here we can use a factory method to get to get date and time from system clock See if you try to print it let me show you how default format is there if i run it then this will give you the combination of date as well as time 
right so basically date and time is separated with a alphabet t so in this format you will get the uh, date and time value now second api we would like to discuss like off method right so here if you look into here so we have off method as well to and here there are a lot of factory method off right we have a different overloaded method of off so one of the overloaded method is asking you to supply local date and local time objects now second year month day of month minute hour so different overload and these are the self explanatory so let's use first one so here we'll have to pass first of all let me these two method these two arguments first argument is the local date itself so you can write local date and we can call now method on it and again similarly local time and you can call again now method and this will return you the instance of local date time again you can print it so first uh, off method I have used but there are a lot of overloaded off method so I will leave on you to explore the rest of the overloaded methods we'll look at here so we got the similar response as we got in the first SOP now we have also a parse method right so we can make use of parse method to get instance of local date time so see local value 3 now we can call parse method on it and parse you will have to specify time like this in ST so here I'm going to specify here we are basically we are just hard coding the uh, date and time combination of date and time I'm going to specify time 10 37 and 40 37 minute and 45 seconds so here you can print so you'll get the almost whatever date we date and time combination we have supplied here you'll get the same output now here if you have a this is basically combination of local date and local time so we have a method is called to local date so this will give you the instance of local date and similarly you have a another method to local time right so if you look into two local time so this will give you the instance of local time and these two things you can print so java 8 api is they have did lot of enhancement and a lot of factory method basically they have provided if you try to print it then you will get the date and time separately right now in while looking into the local date and local time uh, we have seen uh, how we can compare to date or time using each before and each after method so if you go to here so here we have a like each before each after so these are the uh, these are the meta also you can use these things i am not going to explore over here because these things already we have seen uh, while working with the local date and local time and here this method will will work in a similar fashion so i'll leave up to you to explore these things as well uh, last but not the least i'm going to show you something is called local date time and we have a max right we have a constant max mean so if you try to print it so you are getting this kind of output right so if you go to the api and if you see the explanation about this api then saying that the maximum supported local date time right this is the future date like too long it's a too long and the this is the future date right this is the local date time just before 
midnight at the end of the maximum date and uh, this combines local date and local time this could be used by the an application as a far future date if you want to use far future date then you can make use of the max and similarly you have a mean right so minimum time so this will return to you the sorry this is uh, minimum for minimum explanation over here the minimum supported local date time that is negative one right this is the past date so this is the local date time of the midnight at the start of the minimum date this combines local date and local time this could be used by an application as a far past date time if you want to use far past date time then you may use this one and if you want to use far future time then you can use max constants so sometimes uh, these two constants is very useful as per your business requirement in your application so i hope you enjoyed learning this uh, video tutorial where we have discussed about the different api uh, of uh, local date time in next video tutorial we will continue discussing on the some few concept in local date time api so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video